This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. All right, everyone. I hope you're all doing fantastic. If you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Click that subscribe button, please. It's absolutely free. And another reason why you should uh, click that subscribe button is because Andy Ruiz Jr. is going to get smashed by Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua will become a two-time heavyweight champion of the world. And this is coming from somebody who has been a long-time supporter of Andy Ruiz Jr. I've spoken to him on quite a few occasions. I've told you guys this before. I tried to get him the or help him um, push for the big baby Jared Miller fight. Luis Ortiz, Adam Kalanaki, etc., etc. Okay, but listen, ever since he become world heavyweight champion, he's become a little bit of a hater. He's been PBCified. Okay, but either way, I'll support Anthony Joshua anyway. Of course, he's a fellow pro, right? So anyway, click that subscribe button. Do it now. Press conference for Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Anthony Joshua to the rematch. Of course, this was held over there in Saudi Arabia. Tomorrow will be New York, and then Friday will be London. So, how did this press conference go? Of course, listen, first of all, I'll put the link to it in the description box, as always, for those of you who haven't seen it, so this is just purely my reaction to it. And there's a few things that I noticed in this one that maybe not everybody would have noticed, okay? Now, the reason that I noticed this, as I've said to you guys before, um, I don't talk about it too often, but my wife is Arabic, okay? So she knows all things Islam and all this kind of thing. I'm not Muslim myself, but I do respect Islam. I respect all religions, everybody, of course I do. And everybody has their right to follow whatever religion or beliefs that you choose. But there are a couple of things that I noticed within this press conference, which is somebody somewhere is telling Eddie Hearn, Team Joshua and Team Ruiz to do and say certain things. And I noticed it straight away, where specifically at the very end where Joshua and Andrew Ruiz Jr. they're having their head to head, then they're turning and for the pictures, okay? Usually they'll put a fist up or they'll do all that kind of thing, but they put the index finger up. Andy Ruiz Jr. fathers did it. Andy Ruiz couldn't really do it because obviously he's holding the belts, but Anthony Joshua was doing it and Eddie Hearn was doing it. Now, what is this finger in the air? For those of you who are interested, it's a gesture of Tawhid. Gesture of Tawhid. Kind of, I mean, in some ways, it's one finger up in the air saying there is only one God, one true God, and it's Allah. Okay? Again, there's nothing wrong with them doing it. You don't have to be Muslim to do it. Okay? It's not disrespectful, really, if you don't do it. But... Listen, um, I could see from the outside, I think somebody somewhere has told them to do it. Because I know it's on, on Eddie Hearn's face when other people do it, he went, oh yeah, crap. And then he quickly done it. Okay, so listen, it is what it is. There are some other political extremist views on that one finger in the air, most notably used by ISIS. Oh, AJ, as a, if you're going to be doing that again going forward, try doing it on the right hand. The left hand is the hand that apparently some... Muslims say that's, that's the hand that you shake hands with the devil with, all right? So don't do it on your left hand, do it on the right. Now, going forward, not that any of that's really that important, but a couple of things that I did notice in this one as well with Andrew Ruiz Jr. As we know, he's very, very religious in himself. He is, of course, he's Christian. And usually when he speaks, you know, I have to thank God and Jesus and da, da, da. He didn't really do that too much. And I could see him wanting to say it, but he's holding himself back. Now, again, as a side note, there's nothing wrong with saying God in an Islamic country. Why? Because Allah is literal Arabic translation for God. It's just another way of saying it, okay? So again, don't worry about Andy. Just relax. Now, this press conference, um, in my opinion, Andrew is Jr. looked very, very nervous there in that one. Now, of course, you can't read too much into it as to how, how the fight's going to go. But of course, this is the first time that Anthony Joshua and Andrew is Jr. have come face to face since their fight. So Andy... Anthony Joshua is the challenger in this fight. And of course, he's looking at the man who previously built it, beat him and he's holding his belt. Okay, that's how he sees it. And Anthony Joshua, he looked pretty annoyed in this fight, um, in this um, press conference, sorry. He looked like he had real anger in his eyes. He wasn't saying it too much. Again, he was holding himself back. But I think we may see some explosion of this in New York tomorrow or in London on Friday. If not, I think we'll definitely see it in the final press conference. Purely because ever since Andy Ruiz Jr. won the title, Anthony Joshua has been saying, listen, you know, congratulations to Andy Ruiz Jr. You know, he was the better man on the night. Let's give him all the praise, blah, blah, blah. And rather than being Andy Ruiz, um, how he was all the way up to the fight, you know, I'm a big fan of Anthony Joshua and blah, blah, blah. Turned into a bit of a hater. Called him a robot, called him a, all kinds of derogatory kind of things, okay? So I think Anthony Joshua is 
annoyed about that. And of course, he's annoyed at himself for losing that fight. But he's very happy to be in Saudi Arabia. Of course, he thanked everybody as people do up on the stage. And he was junior. Again, he said that Anthony Joshua is a great fighter. And again, he was praising him. But that's not what you've been saying since he won the title, though, is it? You've been calling him a robot. You've been calling him stiff. You've been calling him God knows what. Now he's right next to you. You've been pretty damn humble about it, haven't you? So again, that's something else to look into. But again, you can't read too much into it. Um, of course, we didn't get to see the whole ceremony before the press conference, of course, because not necessarily because of what, what was going on, but they had like an on-screen play and uh, the stage was set up right in front of um, some, what looked like ancient complexes it did. Um, it looked, looked really, really nice in the daytime, but of course it got dark real quick as it does in the desert, right? It would just go dark at the drop of a hat. Okay, so you, you don't really, really get to see it, but of course they had like that, uh, I'm colorblind, but to me it looked like a bit of a, a red glow in the background of them. It looked really nice. But either way, it's going to be an interesting fight. I do believe that Anthony Joshua, he's going to do an absolute number on Andrew Ruiz Jr. It ain't even going to be funny. It may not even be pleasant to watch. Okay, um, I think that uh, he's going to tag him up and just put full welly into his force when he hits Ruiz. Because as, as I said before in the first fight, when he dropped Ruiz, he didn't feel like he hit him with anything decent. And Ru Ruiz went down. But of course, he did make the amateur mistake of he jumped before Ruiz was really cooked. So... Joshua will going forward would have learnt from all this. But as far as the press conference went, I think we didn't get to see too much. YouTube or Matchroom even muted the sound because the people running the event were playing some kind of music. Obviously copyrights. Okay, that's, so that's why it went uh, muted. Again, for anybody who's in the chat, big up to most of you guys. Of course, as always, as with all chats, there's always some absolute nonce idiots in the chat. Is what it is. Begging for my attention. Hey, listen, it is what it is, okay? Why? Because I blocked them, okay? So that's why they're being uh, absolute haters. But that's all fine. You're making me famous. Keep on doing it. Now, as I said, press conference will be tomorrow in New York and then Friday in London. And I expect both of these guys to be a lot more relaxed. Although AJ did look very, very relaxed, actually. Um, I should say at that point, he looked like he was at home on Saudi Arabia soil. Ruiz looked quite nervous. In this one i think a lot of it is because he didn't quite know what to do or say because obviously certain things you do and say could get you could land you in like a lot of trouble in saudi but also because of the stalling tactics that he was trying to use and messing everybody about and what have you even though that there was a rematch and things like that again i think maybe he feels a bit embarrassed by it and absolutely rightfully so he should be but hey listen you never know how the rematch is going to go who knows maybe andrew is jr is not only going to be the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world, but maybe the first person to ever defend it. Of course. It kind of has to be, doesn't it? Either way, for me, Joshua beats him. Anyway, drop your thoughts below about it. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.